Good morning from the first official day of SEMA. Fast. Here we are in the West Hall where all the off-road stuff is, or most of it anyway, and where we're gonna get started on our first day here on the official opening of the 2023 SEMA show. So the first place we're gonna get started at is here, Real Truck. They've acquired a whole ton of companies over the years and pretty much everybody we used to work for is now under their umbrella. And I cheated a little bit. I actually got a sneak peek of something that they have here that I wanna go see. How are you? Good, yourself? Tommy Fridge. Nice to meet you, Tommy. Um, as I was just explaining to Fred, I came in here earlier in the week, just happened to walk by your booth, <laughs> saw this thing. All our fans are excited about it. Nice. If you could tell me a little bit about it, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, so it's uh, basically an aftermarket replaceable hardtop. Um, that has, has a has a panoramic sunroof in it and two different separate panels. Those panels can come out independently. They can come out together. Obviously, the entire back end of it can open up. So this, it's totally modular. Totally modular. This is one example of the rear window that would go here. The back glass actually slides out when you take the pins out, kind of like on the windshield. You undo the screws and the whole glass panel will slide out. Third brake light, backup uh, lights up here. We have even incorporated molly panels inside that are attached to the actual panel itself. So when you take the full window panel out, the molly panel comes out with it. It's not working independently in the vehicle. So um, the nice effect of the panoramic sunroof. Um, and then of course, when you take it all apart, you've got wide open airspace uh, all the way through the Jeep. So. Sure. Yep. Approximately how much does this weigh, do you know? Uh, we don't have a total weight on it yet. The end weight's gonna, it's gonna be less than a factory hard top. Okay, that's what I want um, to see. The know. glass is gonna be the most heaviest thing on the uh, sure. on the build. And the fact uh, that it's modular, it makes it easier to take. Correct, correct. And then on top of it, it comes with the T-slot extrusion oh, so, nice. that, so that you can incorporate a tent or a rack or extra storage up on top without having to buy an independent system. So it goes right on top of the hard top as it is. Is this something that's available right now? It or? is not available. It's okay. going to be available probably mid to later 24. Okay, so second, third quarter? Yep, second, third quarter. Okay, do you have any idea of a potential price point I on it? I don't at this point. It's, okay. it's probably going to end up somewhere retail-wise in that $3,500 to $4,000 range, um, which is still less than a factory hardtop. Right. So. And I assume it's only going to come in black or will we give you the options for it to be painted as well? It will well? only be in black. It is a blow molded product, so you okay. could color match it to the vehicle if you chose to do so. Okay. Um, the extrusion rails on this one were done in white to match the vehicle, but they will come in a standard black powder coat finish. Okay. And um, is it textured or is it? Just it's a very texture. slight texture. Okay. We tried to make it so it matched some of the other OE aesthetics on the vehicle with the okay. factory fender flares, etc. Uh, more of a matte finish. So in regards to things like the third brake light and uh, the reverse lights, is that tied directly into the wiring harness? It, of correct. The factory? Okay. Correct. So everything works with the OE specs that are on the vehicle. So as soon as you put it in reverse, the backup lights come on. Brake lights obviously work with the brake lights. So. That's awesome. It's a beautiful design. We appreciate I actually it. love the spoiler effect on it as well. The fact that it's modular is awesome. Yeah. Um, congratulations, that's a great design. Is there anything else on this vehicle that you could tell us about? Well, or is that uh, your main specialty? Well, this is the main one on this vehicle. This particular product here is a new product, flush mount tail lights, uh, plug and play, unplug the factory one, plug in the uh, aftermarket one, uh, and incorporates the reverse lights in these as well. Uh, so it gives you a nice, clean, flat finish on the back of the vehicle versus the OE ones that have a tendency to stick out. Obviously, most things that are on this vehicle, this is an Arcus rear bumper, we've got an Arcus front bumper. Um, just about everything on this vehicle is our products. Uh, amp bed step here off the back. Um, we do have the HD tire mount that replaces the factory hinge system on the Jeep, comes with the oversized tire mount um, so that you can mount up to a 39 inch tire on the rear door and it takes all the weight and puts it on this casting versus on the factory hinges. Sure. Uh, just for the, our audience's sake, uh, if they were to look for any of these products, would it be under the uh, product line Rugged Ridge? Rugged or? Ridge. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Uh, everything is under Rugged Ridge with the exception of the amp power steps and the amp bed steps. So those, those will be found under the uh, amp Got research. It. Okay. Uh, can we take a look else Absolutely. around? Absolutely. Nice. This is our Light Shield Pro. 
Um, it works with the turn signals. It's sequential. It works with the turn signals as well as the hazards. Uh, it's wired into the lighting system, so when the headlights come on at night, that's exactly how they look. Awesome. And of course, your fenders, which have been out for a while yeah, now. Yeah, the fender flares. These are Max Terrain fender flares. They've been out for some time. Um, all the parts, with the exception of the top, are available now. Okay. You can find them all either on Amp Research or RuggedRidge.com. Perfect. And, and then as far as the fenders go, obviously this is a Rubicon here, but people always ask, can it also work for a Sport or Sahara? Correct. Or, okay. Correct. There is no difference in that trim level on the okay. fender flares. And I assume that it actually elevates the... the the height of the fender to allow for larger tires It does. Tires as well? It gives you max clearance on suspension um, okay. so that your tires don't bury out into the fender flares. So that's, awesome. that's key. This particular vehicle is, uh, is ridden on a two and a half inch super lift lift kit right now. Um, so again, it gives you good articulation and clearance from the tires, the oversized tires on the vehicle. Fantastic. Now, so I see that you have a Gladiator here as well. Is there a chance that you know anything about that as well? Or? I might. Okay, then <laughs> let's give it a look. All right. <laughs> Yeah, so this is a custom build that we did for Mattel and Matchbox. Um, so there's a whole series, there's a website dedicated to it. There's a whole series of Matchbox cars. Um, pretty much everything on this vehicle is our super lift suspension, all rugged ridge products, um, all the way down to the stubby antenna and the antenna mount. So this one's been retrofitted with just about everything that we manufacture for a Jeep. Uh, these particular flare, fender flares right here, similar to the Max Terrain plastic over here, these are the Metal Max steel fender flares. Um, they've got a nice smoke lens. Uh, they also work sequential. I'll turn those on so that you can see how they work. Um, obviously, this was a very specific build that we did for Mattel. Um, so a lot of our parts are, this is our uh, XHD um, heavy duty bumper. Everything's been color matched to the color scheme that we wanted so that it matches the Matchbox car. Uh, as it comes into the marketplace. Roof rack for additional storage put out by Rugged Ridge, color match to match the scheme. This is a brand new product uh, that is in stock now to be launching next week. Um, it's our overlanding rack. Um, so it, we build this for Jeep, not only Jeeps, but trucks as well. Um, gives you the versatility, all T-slot design so that you can add multiple kinds of rack styles and things for additional storage, tents, things of that nature. Is it safe to assume it comes with the molly panels as well? Correct. It does okay. come with the molly panels, and it comes in a standard matte black finish. Obviously, we color match this one here. Um, this is the new JT Wingate um, that will be out mm, probably Q2 of 2024. Okay. Um, it's an entire replacement bumper system as well as the swing gates. So I'll demonstrate one, how it, how it closes. So it'll latch in just like that, and then obviously the tire, it'll accommodate up to a 40 inch tire, and then that one will close as well. You have the functionality of doing either both gates or you can do one gate if you only want, and if you can move the tire from side to side if you wanted to, uh, depending on what you needed for your particular build. Um, obviously when you open it up, it's got a couple different latching systems so that it locks in place. If you needed additional space, you can take it one more and open it up fully. This gives you the availability to mount other accessories on it with off-road jacks, um, you know, storage cans, whatever you need. So, so just to clarify, the rear bumper is sold separately, and then you can buy just one wing of it or one of the arms. Correct. So it's okay. an entire system. So okay. you'd have to buy the bumper to go with the gates. Correct. But then you have the option of doing either one gate or two gates. Uh, if you wanted to do, do, let's just say one gate on this side, you could actually mount the spare tire onto this gate. Okay. So you can put the tire on either side. Do you have an uh, approximate retail price on this? Uh, this one's gonna be somewhere around that seventeen ninety nine price point. For for the whole thing. For the whole thing. If you wanted to do the two gates and the bumper, it's gonna be around seventeen ninety nine. Okay, perfect. All these products will be available. This is the new one. Everything else that is on here, the uh, Metal Max fender flares are already released. They're in stock, uh, and well, the roof rack is already in stock. So a lot okay. of the products are already released. Again, available through the Rugged Ridge brand. So through the RuggedRidge.com. Uh, can people actually purchase directly through you? Are, are you a retailer as well, or do you direct people? Well, we have our website. We have our manufacturer's website, but obviously you can source any of our products through all of our retail partners out there okay. uh, through warehouse distribution. So it's readily available no matter where you want to shop. Perfect. Well, thank you very much. Absolutely. I really appreciate your time. Anytime. We appreciate it. Thank you. You got it. So the verdict? I really like it. I think this is going to be a big seller.
Dana, let's give them a look. So this has been teased to us for a long time. Obviously there's nothing new about a Dana 80, but whether or not this thing is gonna be put into production so that you could buy it, so that I could buy it, that's the question. Hopefully we'll find out. This is my good friend Zach over at Sp Dana Spicer, excuse me. Um, it's good to see you again. It's been a long time. Thank you for all your help in the past. We are obviously looking at a Dana 80, not just any 80, but an ultimate UD 80, something that we've been teased on a long time, and he's gonna tell us all about it. So we've started with the tried and true Dana 80 center section. It's got the later enormous head bearing, the, the big 286 millimeter or 11 and a quarter inches ring gear, so super strong. Uh, this particular version has uh, an ARB locking differential. It's a 40 spline version. We have 40 spline chromoly axle shafts, four inch tubes that are like five eighths of an inch thick. And we stayed with the 2500, 3500 Dodge Ram brake package. Uh, so it's still eight on six and a half bolt pattern. We've got some, some massive wheel bearings at the corners to allow those, that big 40 spline shaft to go through there. But uh, it's, a, it's a great package and we've been beating on it for five years now and uh, it just doesn't care. In regards to ring and pinions, uh, what, what ratios will you be offering with this? Uh, up to and including 538. Uh, 488 and 538 are the two that we started with, so those are the ones that are available right now. Okay, so no e-locker option for this? Not yet, we're, we're still talking with a couple of companies about a 40 spline e-locker. Uh, we just need to make some traction there. So we, we knew we had one with the ARB so we could get it to the market, so there it is. Um, but now we're working on working with a couple companies to come up with a 40 spline electric lock. So I'll be honest, I didn't know that this was actually available for sale yet. Where can I get my hands on something like this? Any of the uh, big Dana WDs like Northridge, Premier, all of those guys, and also at uh, DanaProParts.com. That's, so that's, that's our direct to consumer website, DanaProParts.com. And these are shipping now? Shipping now. You heard it. This thing is pure beef. Four, four inch tubes, inch four inch tubes, five eighths, five eighths thick. Five eighths oh tall. Yeah. God. There's no, there's no bend in that. That's perfect. So, so we have an LT4 that we want to get installed in our Gladiator. I think, um, I think this might do it. Do you think I could take this home? <laughs> so one last mention uh, for those of you who are interested in price point. We're looking at about 12,000 for this, which if you think about it, including the ARB and the gear ratios and everything, basically ready to go, it's not so bad. Hey, he's been watching our show. Of course. And your name is Tim? Tim, yes. Tim it's great to meet you. Fast. So, for those of you who follow us on our YouTube channel, you obviously know who Olin's is, even though I didn't a few years back. And you now know that we have our Jeep on display with them, and we're gonna find out why they're here at Siemens today. Hey, Robin. How you doing? This is the Swede. Hello. How you doing? I'm good, I guess. So we're here at Olin's and we'd like to know a little bit more about what you've got top secret going on here today because everyone else is already familiar with the shocks because we've been highlighting it on our show. Yeah. Can you talk to us? Yep. Okay, so we have some new applications ongoing. We have a Ford Bronco over here. We have the Tacoma over there. The new shock packages, so it's bolt-on, tailor-made suspension and all the uh, hardware is included. So it's a bolt-on uh, specific tune for the vehicles similar to uh, the one you have on your Wrangler. Sure. And then we can have a look at the glimpse of the future, right? Yes. Come over. So, oh, this is wow. a new uh, offer damper. So I'm not gonna give you any more details about it, inside what's going on. That's a bit of a secret, but we have some position dampening going on and you know what it needs for, uh, for this kind of uh, usage. Dual rate setup. Um, sliders here to get rid of noise and friction. Oh wow, nice. We have a big rebound adjuster knob down here that you can set the rebound. So you don't have to use an Allen wrench anymore to get that exactly. dialed in? Now it's tool free. Awesome. This application here, I know that it's probably kind of for race equipment, uh, side-by-sides maybe, but there are a lot of people who are going to want it for their 
Jeep or yeah. for their truck. Is that yeah. something you guys will eventually address? Um, swing by next year at SEMA and uh, we'll take your order. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, we will try it hard first before we start to sell it on the uh, off-market now. So how about sizing? About what, what kind of a coil oversize is this anyway? This is a 2.65. Okay. But it uses a 3-inch spring, so it's a big shock, package it within the 3-inch uh, springs and cooling fins everywhere, so get rid of the heat. Sure, and of course this is a piggyback design, but you, will you offer a remote reservoir as well? Yes, it will be a remote reservoir of the hose, depending on the application and what you can fit. Sure. Yeah. So one of the questions that I get a lot on our channel in regards to the shocks that we're running on our Jeep right now is the price. Some people think that the price that you have listed on your website, the MSRP, is for two shocks, but just to clarify, okay. it's for okay. all four? Gotcha, so yeah. the retail price for the Wrangler kit is $37.90, and that's for four shocks. So it's all around, with okay. hardware included to fit the reservoirs and everything. So complete for the vehicle. So you heard it here, for those of you who doubted me, it's for all four shocks. It's not this crazy $8,000 and it's right in line with all the other shocks out there that are similarly packaged. So what else have you got? Like, uh, can you, is there anything specific with the Bronco or the, the Yeah, top? we can have a look. So this is the Bronco front. So we're using uh, uh, aluminum tooling pins, reservoirs on this one. Uh, we have the tool free adjuster for the rebound. Nice. It's an upgrade. Uh, two way compression, of it, high speed and low speed on the compression. Okay. You can really tune it for what you do, whatever you're doing. If you're an overlander, if you're like you guys do a lot of the desert stuff, you can fine tune for your specific usage area. Is this something? These options uh, something that'll be available for the Wrangler as well? Um, not yet. Okay. We'll see. We'll begin with what we have. So these are for the new. So this is called the RX suspension or the URX. Maybe <laughs> pronounced. Uh, so this is just released for uh, at, the, at the show. So this oh, is really new. perfect. Yeah. So for our Bronco guys out there who are actually watching this, Owen's got you. They, they have a brand new product for you guys and it's actually more advanced than what we're running on a Wrangler. <laughs> yes, that's true. You can have a look. So oh, sure. in the front here, so you can reach the rebound here and then you have the compression adjusters over there. Nice. And then we can go around, we can have a look at the rear as well. Okay. The other side. So here's the rear installation. So we're nice. running a dual rate setup get better cornering, better control of the body. At the right height, you have a specific spring rate and depending where you're at the stroke. Sure. Yeah. So the rest, rest of our speed is over here. Same here, two-way compression, one-way rebound over here. This will be released uh, and produced uh, beginning next year. Fantastic. How about a price point on that? Do you have any idea? Um, it's a little bit above for four four thousand dollars somewhere. For I don't know exactly, but like four thousand two hundred something. Okay. Four thousand four hundred maybe. And for is this uh, for stock height, or will this be for only lifted vehicles? Um, it will be about one to three inches of lift. Okay. So depending on the preload and spring you choose. Sure. That is awesome. You guys need that for the Jeep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The coilover conversion for the Jeeps. Yes. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, there are plenty of people who make brackets. I know these people. Yeah. So if you, if they make the brackets and you provide the coilover. Sure thing. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. Well, I appreciate your time. Thank you for coming by. So actually, there's one more thing that we didn't check out. And being that like half our audience are Toyota guys, let's give it a look. So is this similar to the Bronco then, the setup? Yeah, we're using the same type of shocks. So it's an Olin's ORX suspension. So this is a new application for uh, for the Tacoma. Rebound adjuster, compression adjuster, high speed, low speed, coil spring with a preload adjuster so you can, you know, sure. at different height depending on how much added weight you have on, on it, what lift you prefer. And so this is for stock height to about three inches as well? Yes, sir. Okay. The rest is fitted over there. It's easy, easy access to the adjusters. That's the rear shock. So pin on top, aluminum body, 22 millimeter shaft or 7 8 of an inch, rebound adjuster, two-way compression adjuster, cooling things. So installation here in the rear, so easy access. That looks great. So that was pretty cool. It's really neat to see that they're developing other applications for other vehicles and with options that I wish we had, but hopefully it's coming soon. 
In the meantime, let's give our Jeep a look for those of you who aren't familiar with it. Obviously, our Jeep is a 392 and it's running on top of a Rancho crawler suspension system that yielded us about three and a half to four inches of lift. And of course, it's paired up with a set of Olin shocks. Coming around to the side, you can see that we are running a set of 38 inch Nitto Ridge Grapplers bolted up to KMC grenade crawl beadlock wheels. To help give ourselves side protection, we got Evo bolt-on rock sliders that attach right to the frame, and we've got a great install video on that. Coming around inside, we've got our accessory bar, or ACC bar, which used to be the CB bar back in the day, but as you can see, we've made quite a few improvements to it, where now you can install multiple devices, multiple radios, GPS, or otherwise, all on it, including, in this case, a Switch Pro's mount. Obviously, we're super thrilled that Olin's is featuring our Jeep in their display, but honestly, the pleasure's all ours. As far as bolt-on applications go, their shock paired with a good set of soft coils provides a genuinely awesome ride. I would highly recommend it if this is something you're looking for.